still there. All right, Julian and I, we are here in the jungle and we just searched for a good spot where we can build a shelter. And today we want to build a raised bed because, uh, yeah, you don't want to sleep on the floor in the jungle. So yeah, uh, we are going to use this tree here over there. And it's pretty good because it's really thick and stable. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. we can start. So uh, we don't have to clear the ground, so we could build the shelter above the vegetation. But I really want to, because I want to see if there's a snake on the ground, you know. So there are a lot of snakes here in this jungle, which kill you. So I definitely want to see the ground where we are camping. I have to take off my jacket, because it's a little bit, a little bit warm with it. And organize faster our space. Yeah, cool, thanks. Okay, I think this is fine now. And first of all, I need a really strong pole, which goes from up here to here. And then I need two other poles, which go down, like in an A-frame style. To have our space fully and safe from two. The lions are holding the pole. It's really hard to get the pole down. Okay, thank you. So, I'm bringing the log to the shelter place. So this is a special tree, uh, all the house are building, was building with this kind of tree because uh, there is a natural anti-thermit with it, yeah, so the, the thermit cannot come inside. So it's a, a thermit repellent. Exactly, mm. exactly. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now we have one end attached and the next one is going to be somewhere here. So we don't need to be that high, just like this. And now I just take two other poles, which are not that thick, like this. And this one here, like that. Maybe let's get another lion knee for this. Yeah, because it's not stable. This one is not. Yeah. Yeah. Small note. Okay. I just hold it over here. So this should be a good height, huh? Okay. Sure. Or maybe maybe go down a little bit, I don't know. 
little, yeah, little down, like this. This yeah. is fine, yeah? Okay. And now just so, stick it in. Yeah. Yeah. You can organize it inside here. <laughs> Maybe too hard. Don't do like this. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Stick it. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just for one more. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to hold. It's too much of it. All right. So for stability, I want to put some straight poles underneath the. Uh, bed, you know, yeah. just so that we don't slip down with the bed in the night or something. And let's just tie a small lion around the pole that it stays at this position. This is just for extra stability and safety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Maybe like this, like so. Mm -hmm. that a little bit more. This one. Let's sleep here. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, to everyone who thinks this can be set up in just one hour, they're wrong because <laughs> for this framework we needed like two hours already and we are two persons. So if you're lost in the jungle, you really need to start shelter building early in the day. I mean, like this. Like so. <laughs> okay, we have a couple of forked sticks and now we just put it underneath the raised bed to support the bed. We can cut it off, huh? Yeah. Where we leave it there? It's actually not too high. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> really. But we need to cut it off here. Yeah. Yeah, super. Mm. Good. Okay, now the other side here. This side. On the other side. Let's try this one. Uh, yeah. Yes. That's good. Perfect. Now you sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Otherwise, I can turn it like this? Yeah, turn it around, maybe. Okay, we are almost done with the framework and next we need to make a proper bed. So Julian knows a good tree where we can harvest some very long uh, yeah. branches and logs. Yeah. Okay, we found a palm tree and it has a lot of spikes on it and we have to get them off with our machete. And these are some good poles for the shelter, for the bed.
So now I'm placing some lions all over the shelter. I just weave them and this should take the weight of one person. Alright, so we have finished the basic framework of the bed. We just took some lions and we yeah, lashed it around the two poles. And next we are going to take the palm stems and we are laying them onto the lions like this. And we take a couple of more of these and then we have our bed. And the thing is that the shelter is narrower here than here. Here it's a little bit wider and the palm stem is narrower here as well and wider here so we are going to take the wider ends at this place here yeah we have more so we throw it out if it's too short I can sleep like a baby. Awesome. <laughs> okay, you try first. <laughs> you have 75 kilos? 75 kilos. Let's yeah. see. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Now you can rest. I want to stay here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, really good. Oh, it's so relaxing. Yeah. That's cool. Really? Really good, huh? I didn't expect it like this. It's comfortable, huh? Yeah. I want to try out the bed too. Yeah. Oh. 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 It's actually pretty comfortable. It's really oh. comfortable. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. we can like put some leaves on it to make it more like yeah. a mattress like a mattress yeah but i think we are going to do that next time mm -hmm. and now we are already very hungry <laughs> and we want to make a fireplace mm -hmm. and then go fishing and make a fire and roast up some fish huh yeah super Let's do it. <laughs> I've taken my modern fishing pole with me and Julian is going to fish with the traditional fishing pole and they will see who gets more fish. <clears throat> so generally close to the river we can find warm for the fishing. So I have my plastic boat. Okay, let's have a look if we find some. Ah yeah. Oops. Now it was easier. So let's start with it, with this. And if it's empty later, we can still can and get some more. So, this is how it looks, the traditional roll. This is kind of special. Uh, we like it because it's really small and with it you can, you can get a lot of kind of fish. The bigger like the small one. Even in, well, more in the river, but don't use it for the sea. <laughs> so this is the floater, yeah. It's gonna give us the sign if a fish is hitting or not. The rod is, is made with a special tree, uh, we, which, which is also used for, to build many, many beds uh, for the people in the village. Yeah. Uh, when it's bigger, yeah, you can use it to, to make many things. And also you can organize your skin to, to build some trap 
trade for for the fishing. Yeah, it's really it's not so heavy, so you will see how it works. I show you. And let's put the worm and let's start. Okay. So now let's put the worm. All right. So now I have the modern fishing rod and. Julian has the traditional, the traditional one. one. Yeah. And now we make a competition who catches more fish. One of one of one of the species uh, of fish we can find on this river. Uh, the local name is Mva, and the people can recognize it with the two lion. One is kind of red, and the other one is like yellow. And in the end, the, a, a black a black dress uh, in the hand. There are so many shrubs. Now I hooked it on a tree. But it's okay. That's fine. Ah, oh, it's a catfish. Catfish. Ah, oh, catfish. Yeah. Oh, cool. cool. Nice. All right. So now I'm preparing the fire while Julian is doing the gutting, the fish gutting, and we have gotten a lot of firewood and. Yeah, now I'm preparing the small kindling here. For a fire making today, I have brought some okume, which is a native tree to here. It has some flammable resin, and this is going to be our fire starter for the day. So now I'm just gonna break off a little bit of this flammable stuff. It's also an insect repellent, so if you have a lot of mosquitoes around, you can use it against the mosquitoes. And it smells really good. So, ah, this one will have already some hex inside. Mm -hmm. And it's really good to hit the hex too. The roll, ah, it's the roll, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. okay here you watch. It's a really good fire starter. It's a little bit similar to the European pine resin. So I'm just cleaning the head and everything inside. And then it's gonna be ready. It's not the best firewood, it's still a little bit moist. But it's going to burn, I'm sure. Coming. 
Okay, now we are using some sticks for the fish. Yeah. And we remove the bark so that we don't have any bacteria on yeah. the stick. And now, yeah, just put the fish on, right? Yeah. One. Catch fish, I think you can just do it like this. This one is burning. Mm -hmm. It's too burned, maybe. I think my fish is ready too and now I will try the first bite mm. Wow that's good so we want to thank you for watching this was part one of building a shelter in the African jungle stay tuned till next time bye bye see you soon